Okay, so in this, in, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about um, uh, some of the new features that have been added in the back office, um, but I'm particularly going to be talking about the statistics area down here. And I'm also going to be talking about the source source code, the tracking code that uh, they've now put into the system. It's very, very easy to use, and I'm going to show you how to use it to help you to understand where your traffic is is performing best um, and you know your activity, how it's how it's helping your um, how it's helping you grow your business. So, but I'm going to touch on a few other things now. First of all, they've they've um, added the leaderboard. Okay, so you can uh, check the leaderboard out, uh, and um, you know these are all the the top fifty um, uh, top recruiters in the company uh, and and their activity. Um, I'm also going to just touch on quickly the um, the fact that you you know it's got a new link here, my enroller. Okay, so this link will tell you who your direct sponsor is. Um, so this was this was something that people were confused about, and uh, they didn't know who their or, or enroller is, or at least they wanted to double check, making sure that you know they came in through the right link. So you can check that, and it'll give you the exact details. Now, what I really want to talk about is the statistics. <clears throat> so this is really you know really simple. I'm also going to touch on the source statistics here on this button, but first let's just see what this statistics means. It basically means your activity throughout uh, every uh, every single day. Uh, what's going on, you know, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of hits coming in. I'm getting quite a few pre enrollees and I'm getting, um, you know, you know, upgrades on most days, you know, literally pretty much every single day. Um, so far today, I haven't had an upgrade, but uh, it's still the morning here in Japan. Um, anyway, so, you know, if you go back, I mean, it's literally been every single day I've had people upgrade uh, in my business uh, since I first started on the 23rd of, of December. Okay, so every single day I'm getting people on my business. Okay, I haven't skipped a day except uh, today so far. <clears throat> so um, as you can see, you know, this just shows you, you know, your website hits, how many pre enrollees you're getting, and how many upgrades, okay, that you're getting in that particular day. Okay, what you should be doing is, uh, you know, as soon as you get on board, you need to launch your business. This is the this is your chance to to really get eyeballs onto your pages. Don't spam. Don't send out your uh, pages using mass um, um, mass cold traffic. Um, don't send solo ad um, advertising or anything like that to directly to your live good pages. Um, you know that's why I'm giving out my marketing systems and rebrander pages so you can set up a funnel uh, and collect leads. And then you know that's going to be very very uh, beneficial to you. In the long term, because you can, you know, continue to uh, remind them uh, and show that you care and and warm your leads up to your offer. Okay, so that that's what that's what we're doing here. Now let's talk about the source statistics right here. This is really um, a, an, an exciting thing for me because I actually, you know, kind of I don't know if it was just me, but I I personally kind of requested this from Ben Glinsky. Uh, I knew it was part of his systems because in the past we had we had these systems in place with his previous companies. But it really helps to see where your traffic is performing the most and where your leads are coming in from. OK, and as to which um, traffic sources are performing the best. OK, so for, for newbies, th you know, this is easy enough. You know, you're going to get to learn. You're going to get to understand how this works. And so just pay attention and don't worry. It's it's uh, I, I realize for some people it might be complicated, but it's it's something you need to learn because it's. It's 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 very useful. I mean, you know, obviously, if you if you want to forget about this, you know, just just don't don't bother with it. But that's up to you. But this is this is a very very good tool to help you understand um, which traffic source is performing the best. You know, you could have a, a Facebook post uh, going out there, getting people on on, on board, um, and um, you know, you're wondering how many people actually came in, and out of those people who came in, how many up um, sort of came in as a pre enrollee. And then out of those people who came in from that particular ad, how many actually upgraded? Now, as you can see, for example, I, I have, um, I, I, you know, I haven't had so many, I mean, I've had a lot of people come in without, you know, tracking, okay, because they've only just really added this. And it's not something I've been really, really focused on, although I've been adding it in as, you know, wherever possible. Um, so I do have a lot of people coming in, obviously, and I didn't track it, which was, uh, which is a shame in some ways. Um, but um, let's have a look. So, you know, this is a Leads Leap page uh, came in that I've been sharing out uh, and I've got 25 upgrades there. Um, this is a YouTube video. Okay, let, let me just, because what I, 
I typically what I do is I, <clears throat> I I label it in this way. Now let me show you how these labels work, and how do you set these labels up. So go to your web. Uh, sorry, where is it? Go to your website. Okay, so you recognize this is your website. For example, it's got your username at the end there. Okay, and then it's got a question mark followed by it's got this source. Okay, S O U R C E. Now it has to be in uppercase for this to work. If it's in lowercase, for some reason it doesn't work. So you need to set it uppercase. Okay, I think the description is down below here. So follow the descriptions down below as it says here. Um, you might want to change this HTTP to HTTPS and share it out like that. So make sure it's the HTTPS there. But anyway, as you can see, the source is in uppercase. It needs to be that way. Read the description and it'll explain how, how you need to set this up. But uh, obviously, you know, after the equal sign, you know, you could put, for example, you know, Facebook, if you're advertising on Facebook, uh, you can put any label you want, you know, just put one or, you know, label it with a number if you like, or, or, or Facebook, um, I don't know, post, um, I don't know, whatever you want, just, just, this is just for your purpose. Okay. And when you share out this entire link, um, or whatever, and, and send it out there, you know, in the form of an ad or whatever, if you're uploading to a, a video on YouTube, you could put in a, just a label uh, like this, and then maybe the YouTube uh, video ID or something just so that you can see um, how these ads are performing. So I, I tend to, I tend to set up my YouTube video when I upload a YouTube video, for example, I tend to put the U, the YouTube video ID of that um, video. So if I go to uh, YouTube, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure which video, this is all my video content here, but let me just um, check. I'll just go to a video or whatever. And uh, uh, Okay, so I put the video ID at the top there. Okay, so th this this video is performing well. Okay, um, this video has uh, 1000 1.2 thousand views. Okay, this is what I did um, 11 days ago. And this particular video has obviously got 75 likes. It's, it's performing well on YouTube. I'm really pleased with that. And um, as you can see, I have had eight upgrades from that particular video. Um, you know, so some of my videos are doing, you know, bringing in upgrades. It just depends. Okay, I've, this video br uh, brought in two upgrades. Um, so, you know, it just shows, shows us exactly where, you know, this... Uh, I can't remember what that label was for. Uh, Leeds Leap. Ah, oh, that was a Leeds Leap ad. Okay, yeah, that was a Leeds Leap free ad. Okay, LLF. Okay, yeah, Leeds Leap free ad. Wow, I got an upgrade from <laughs> from the free ads in Leeds Leap. Uh, this is Mega Marketing Pro. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, there's only a few hits there, so you, you're not going to expect much. Um, obviously, YouTube. Um, this is... Uh, Wholesale premium traffic. I've had 130 hits. I've had 38 in pre enrollees. I need to follow up with these people. That's my responsibility. You know, if you're going to do solo ads and cold traffic, you do need to follow up. You don't rely on the autoresponder um, solely, just uh, follow up with them relentlessly. But I've had one upgrade. Um, I've actually been speaking to this person, so that's been pretty good. Um, yeah, again, this is a Leads Leap page. Um, okay. So, you know, as you can see, um, I'm, I'm getting results. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other. But anyway, you know, I mean, that's that not much is happening there. That's fine. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, um, things are things are happening, but that's how you use it. OK, and there's a description down below here just to show you how to set that up. But it's really, really simple. So moving forward. You know, if you're setting up a, a funnel or a page or something, you know, it's a good idea to add the link there using this this source code uh, technology that's now in your back office. Another thing you can do is if you go to Contact Manager, okay, go to the uh, uh, sorry my my referrals, okay, and here is the source code. So if you already know, um, for example, if I go back in a new tab to my previous page, now. I want to see who this person is. Okay, so I just um, copy that source code down. And I go back here and I just um, paste that in there. And I can see all the people that are coming in from there. Okay, but if I just select member,
then I can see specifically. Now I don't I don't really want to show that private information, but uh, um, I can see specifically who's coming in, um, you know, who upgraded, what what's going on, and you can see from within the um, yeah. So you can see from within the source area uh, as to, uh, you know, for example, I mean, I, I could go to, you know, this LLF leads leap free um, and then um, check to see who's coming in there. Um, and as you can see, I mean, I shouldn't really be showing this. This is private information, but uh, you can see who's uh, coming in from those ads. OK, so anyway, um, I hope that was useful. I think, uh, you know, people are going to have a lot of, you know, uh, use out of this It's a great tool. And I really appreciate live good for adding it in there. Um, it's, uh, it's something that's uh, going to be really uh, helpful to a lot of people. So, you know, just go down to statistics, and then you can check out, you know, the extra buttons uh, in the top there. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next training. Uh, bye for now.